Now in this video we are going to learn about the password command okay so basically uh, this command is basically we use to change the password of any user or if you want to add uh, like password expiration days or anything you want to perform with the password any kind of operation like uh, if you want to delete the password you want to make account password less then this command is used okay so we will basically start with the user creation like we will first of all add a user and then we will perform that operation on that particular user so i am adding one user here on the one or two names allowed okay i am just giving the name as a password user here new password it asking me for i will give the new password okay no required this information yes okay clear now first of all what I will do I first uh, login into that user password user and I will just enter the password and yeah here you can see I am logged in into that particular user and now I will just exit because I want to use my account okay so let's start with the uh, password command okay so now what we have to do you the command is basically used with the sudo why because only the root user or whatever the user who is present in the sudoers file that that can only change the password or the current user if you uh, do like this sudo and only password it will what it will do it will change the password of your current account that is my account that is Ayush and it will ask me for the new password okay but I don't want to uh, change my password okay so uh, for a minute let's change okay so as you can see password updated successfully but again I want to keep my old password so uh, I will write that password okay password did successfully okay so now uh, moving forward uh, what you can do if you want to change the password of any other account that is the root account then also you can change that how you can do it that is sudo password that is pass wd not a full password so pass wd and then the user account name that is root so here you can change the password password updated successfully now what you can do you can just log in with that credentials using su that is switch user command and here you will need to just uh... okay so now here you can just enter the password of the root user and you will get the access of the root account okay so with this you can change the password of any other user and also you can do many operations okay so now what we will do we will just uh, uh, change the password of this uh, the user which we had created now so let me just close this terminal and uh, I will just copy this username because it's so long username I had taken no problem just uh, sudo password and the name of the user that is a password user and enter and a new password I will provide him just uh, okay password updated successfully so now what I will do I will just open up the new terminal and I will log in with that new password I know the password is not visible because the this is the feature of the Linux like you cannot see the password like it's a great thing okay password user 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 okay it's not coming okay now tor okay yeah so here you can see you have we have logged in with this particular account so now let's uh, do some certain operations like now what I will do I will just close up this terminal and uh, I will uh, just use some uh, some options uh, like hyphen D option now we will use so basically what happened this option deletes the password and make the account password less okay so if we do like this password hyphen D and the username that is a password user and here I have to use sudo so password expiry information changed 
okay now what i will do i will just again open up the new terminal and i will try to log in and i will check whether it asks me for entering the password or not so here you can see it is not asking me to enter any password as you can see the password user uh, like is logged in now if i will do here who am i here it will show me the password user so using hyphen d option you can just make any account passwordless so suppose uh, if you want to create a guest account for the like uh, any user who want to use the system and you will just give him them give him their certain uh, permissions like not you will not provide him the root permission and you can create his account passwordless the guest account can could be passwordless uh, let it be okay it will not affect your system or the administrator so in this way you can just create a passwordless account now moving forward, uh, let me try to just add the password. Let me check what happens if I do sudo password password user. And here it is asking me to enter the new password. I am again entering. And now I will just exit here and again I will try to just uh, switch into that account. And now it should ask me to enter the password and here you can see it's asking me to enter the password and now here you can see I have logged in as the password user. Okay, so in this way you can add the password, remove the password or you can log in into that account using terminal using switch user command. So many information you got till now. Okay, now moving forward. Uh, suppose if you want to like immediately change the password if you suppose if you will use hyphen e option let me clear the screen first i will use sudo password hyphen e option if you you will use hyphen e option so what it option does it basically uh, like uh, prompt the user to change your password after login okay so let me show you just uh, the implementation part i will just use that username password user password expiry changed and again I will exit and again I will try to just uh, log in with this user sorry password user and I will just enter the password and it will ask me to you are required to change your password immediately administrator enforced like as I admin I just enforce that particular user to change your password immediately okay you got it like suppose there is a uh, like organization in which the admin want to change uh, the like uh, admin wants like uh, their users should change their password immediately okay so he can just uh, add multiple users and then he will enforce them to change their password immediately okay so it is asking me to enter the current password and the new password i will write the password is shorter than eight characters so i have to enter the password which is uh, longer than eight characters okay the password face the dictionary check it doesn't contain enough character okay no problem so but uh, you got the point i just didn't use the strong password that's why it's showing like this but uh, in case of you if you will enter the combination of the zero and one and big capital letters small letters characters then that will make the basically a strong password okay so now i'm uh, moving forward i hope you got this point okay but still let it be i will just uh, let me show you the implementation otherwise you will think like a uh, uh, I didn't uh, showed you the implementation but again let me just do the same thing and I will just log in that user I will enter the password and current password it is asking me current password I will just enter the password some long password I will enter okay so it's not showing me any kind of error right now so sorry again I will need to do the same thing again there is some type mistake it should not done yeah okay finally we change the password okay now if you do who am i and you can see like i am logged in as the password user okay so using hyphen e option you can just force the particular user to change their password immediately after login okay so now uh, moving forward uh, if you want to add uh, the like some number of days like uh, minimum number of days required to change the password suppose you create a user and uh, like uh, suppose there is a uh, there is an organization and there is a intern okay intern comes in organization comes in organization to do internship 
so obviously you will provide him uh, he will work for some kind of 90 days or uh, 120 days or any number of days he will work so obviously you will create their account and uh, you want to automatically expire their account after a certain period of time or or you want to change his password after a certain period of time okay there are many number of requirements you can do so to do these kind of things we use the minimum days okay min days option so it means we cannot change the password before 100 days if you provide 100 in a in a option okay suppose the intern you don't want to change the password of intern uh, till his journey suppose he is starting from 0 to uh, 50 days if there is intention of 50 days and you don't want to change the uh, and you don't want to uh, like intern to change his password in this case you can use easily a uh, hyphen mendes option so let me use this option like it's a great thing uh, i will use this password and hyphen mendes i will use mendes and the number of days i just i'm assuming the 50 and the username password user i think it was the username yeah okay so there is a invite option it is showing me uh, okay is there any okay there is no any option with hyphen m okay let me just try with hyphen hyphen mendes maybe it should work let's see okay it's showing me permission denied why it's so just clear the screen i have not used sudo here that's why it's showing me permission denied also so sudo and password expired information change and now what i will do i will just uh, not exit i will just clear the screen and now i'm logged in as a password user and i will try to change my password so whether i'm able to change or not let's see because i have changed the permission of like uh, i cannot change my password like uh, till 50 days okay changing password for password user okay but now let me just close this session because this is a uh, like uh, you can say old session i will create a new session and then i will try to change the password sudo yeah, sorry su password user and the password what it was yeah i forgot yeah let me just increase the font size i will just enter this password and i will write uh, current password okay so here you can see you must wait longer to change your password okay so this is a, a like get a feature like you cannot change your password before 50 days okay similarly you can use the max days option it will just uh, like uh, suppose if you provide 100 days then after that what will happen your password will expire and uh, you will need to obviously change that password and uh, okay so what we will do we will just control c okay it's not working control c i don't know why let me just uh, type like this okay password unchanged now what i will do i will just uh, uh, use the max days option so what it will do it will just uh, like uh, your password will get expired after this number of days so i will just uh, leave it uh, as 100 password expiry change and uh, you your password will expire after 100 days okay and also you can use another option that is one days option password hyphen hyphen one days so it will warn you to change your password before expiry okay so permission denied you know the reason because we have not used sudo here expiry changed okay so this is the way to manipulate with the uh, password command okay and also one more thing is there like inactive is also one option which we can use to deactivate account suppose after 10 days of expiration uh, the your password expires and uh, be, uh, and still you don't change the password and in that case your account will get deactivated okay and also one more option is there that is password uh, hyphen capital s and uh, sudo and i will just provide a username hope it will work yeah so here it will show you some of the information like uh, you can see the date the today's date is 39.22 IP just shows the uh, like uh, account is locked or unlocked 
and here the date shows the uh, creation of the password and the 50 is the minimum days and 100 is the maximum days as we got to know and 10 is the warning days you can see here okay so that's all for today's video guys and i hope you liked it and if you have any queries then you can ask in the comment section and uh, uh, please uh, just give me the feedback in the comment section like how is the video is going on and uh, are you getting or not and also you can uh, ask me if you have any doubt on instagram you can just uh, you can just uh, follow this page that is exabyte i know the name is a little bit difficult uh tricky you can just search as underscore three x a b y t three underscore okay you can ask me doubt here also so that's all for today guys and we'll meet you in the next one so thank you and we will meet in next one bye bye